Friends, in today's gospel, Jesus reprimands his disciples for not allowing the children to come near him. Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these, he said. This is a good reminder for all of us, brothers and sisters. The Lord welcomes anyone who wishes to be with him. He longs to be with children because they are among the least who rely only on the protection and providence of God. The disciples in today's gospel may have thought that the children were probably too playful or noisy that they might disturb Jesus' activities. We can understand the move of the disciples. Their master is preaching and his ministry is serious. But such decision also reveals their narrow view that Jesus should not be bothered by these disorderly children. The disciples acted according to the prevailing custom that only men of age could interact with a rabbi or a teacher. Yet in this incident, Jesus reveals something about himself. His welcome of children indicates his acceptance of people who come to him as they are as they truly are. Children come to us as they truly are. We observe in them the most genuine and the most spontaneous of gestures. Their ways of showing affection are not inhibited by strictures on formality the way adults do. They do not hide their feelings and curiosity about people and things that catch their attention. Now the children in today's gospel must have heard about Jesus or sensed something good in him that they wanted to meet him. Jesus in response embraced them, teaching his disciples and all of us that these little ones are precious. They too can receive his word. The kingdom of God in fact belongs to them. The kingdom of God is real to those who believe in it and who wish to see it and who wish to become part of it as those children exemplified. Okay, you might say, Cardinal, there are children who are too rowdy, you know, and difficult to keep in check. Yes, but I hope we can imitate Jesus who showed them tenderness and acceptance. They are not a nuisance. Rather, they are, as Pope Francis puts it, the joy of family and society and a gift. Brothers and sisters, if only we start looking at children as a source of joy and as a gift, then we would not ignore or send them away. We would not demean their humanity by subjecting them to violence, abuse, exploitation, slavery, and perversion that ruin their lives. So this is a call not only to parents, guardians, teachers, and formators, but also to those who prey on the innocence and the vulnerability of children that does not steal or spoil their youth. Let us instead lead them to Jesus, who can bring them to the fullness of life and to his kingdom, where love is the only language. Have a blessed day. It has been a while now since we started this program in 2008. From day one, you have been with us, our dear friends, assisting us with open hands. We are inviting you once again to be our partners in this ministry. Following the mandate of the Lord to bring the good news to all, 
we can continue to broadcast and reach more people with your support, bringing the good news to them through television and the internet. Friends, your offering would be very much appreciated. Thank you. May the Lord reward you a hundredfold.